Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to decrypt PGP files using PGP tool. First thing you can do is to open the PGP tool itself and click this decrypt file button on the toolbar. Then you select the file and you'll need to provide a passphrase for your private key. Once you do that, you'll see the decrypt dialog window where the first thing you see is a source file to be decrypted and then you see the target file which is, could be placed in the temporary folder, same folder or to any other fo folder of your choice. After file is decrypted you can ask application to delete the source file to open the target folder or open the associated application and this is what I would normally do. That's it, file is decrypted, associated application is opened, which is in this case photo viewer. And we see our file, so let's go ahead and decrypt another one, but this time I'm going to use Explorer pretty much the same way we did it with encryption, so I can just double click on the file and decryption window will appear. And you'll notice that application has pre-selected this checkbox here because it remember this is what I did last time. But this time I want to choose other folder instead of temporary folder. I want to choose other folder. And um, that's, you know, I have a folder that, which name is other folder. Um, so I'll go ahead and click save. And I don't want to open the associated application this time. I want to open the target folder. So let's click decrypt. And here it is. So um, this is the other folder and this, this is our decrypted file. I also have another file and um, if I try to decrypt it, you'll notice that um, dialog window will look a little bit different. It will basically reflect the last settings that I used. So it chose the browsed folder, it chose the same folder, other folder, but name of the file is different according to the source file, right? So we don't want to write the other file. And here we see the same checkbox selected as we did last time. So let's go ahead and click decrypt. So now we have two files, each having its own corresponding name. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.